Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, once again, it is that time. Seems like only yesterday that we took up another rank 5 champion. However, this one may come as a surprise to some of you. We shall see. But if you want to leave your guess before I reveal who this is, you want to pause it now because I'm about to reveal it. So leave a comment with your guess, and I'm curious to see who you believe my next rank five is going to be. All right, certain things had to line up just right for me to make this next rank up. All right, so we're going to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. And it is Peter Porker. That's right. Just got him from the arena, and I am going to take this guy all the way up. All right, so first, we do have the materials to take him to rank two, okay? Then we have a two to three rank up gem that we got from variant six, and we'll take him up with that gem. Then I actually have a three to four and a four to five science rank up gem. So let's do it. While I'm ranking him up the rest of the way, I thought I would give you guys a little history on Spider-Ham. Taken from the wiki, Peter Porker was born a spider, simply named Peter. He resided in the basement lab of May Porker, a slightly goofy animal scientist who had created the world's first atomic powered hairdryer, hoping that the introduction of nuclear fusion into America's beauty salons would revolutionize the hair care industry. After dousing her head with water and activating the dryer, May Porker accidentally irradiated herself and in a fit of delusion bit Peter who then found himself transformed into an anthropomorphic swine, much like May Porker herself. Running from the Porker homestead disoriented, Peter soon came to realize that he still retained a spider's abilities. And he says, this is astounding. Am I a spider with the limitations of a pig or a pig with the proportionate strength and agility of a spider? I've become something greater than either spider or pig. I've become a spider ham. After this startling series of events, Peter, who adopted the surname Porker, that of his benefactor May Porker, who after the accident mentally attuned to a state in which she believed she was Peter's loving aunt, dedicated himself and his newfound abilities to fighting injustice and the occasional animal parody of established Marvel Comics villains. May Porker's scientific genius was transferred to Peter, giving him the know-how to devise his web spinner gauntlets to replace his lost natural ability. So, I have a question. How do you bite a spider? So May Porker was a pig. Peter was a spider at the time. How do you bite a spider without destroying the spider? I, I don't get it. Did she not bite down all the way? Did she just kind of nibble? I, what's going on there? I have no idea. But anyway, from the moment I saw that Spider-Ham was coming to the contest, I wanted him. I didn't care how good he was, but... I wanted him. His animation style is a throwback to the animation style that I grew up with. You know, from old time cartoons like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, you know, Porky Pig, all of that. And so just seeing that, I had to have him. And Kabam has done a good job. Now, he's not all good looks. He also has some good utility. He's degen immune, and he utilizes those power stings unlike anyone else in the game. 
So you have a few champions that do have power stings, but they're pretty weak. Uh, Yellow Jackets is probably a little bit stronger uh, than like Emma Frost's. But as a lot of people were saying, Yellow Jacket should have been done the way Spider-Ham is. Uh, they're saying that Spider-Ham is what Yellow Jacket should have been. Now, there's a rework coming for Yellow Jacket. So we are looking forward to that. All right, so now let's go back to the regular schedule program. Okay, so that is Peter Porker ranked up. And I do have a generic. I have like six five-star generics. I'm not sure if he needs it or not. If he does, I will awaken him. Just to show you guys here, six generic awakening gems. So if I need to awaken him, I can. Uh, let's take a look at him right quick. See what his stats look like, because I have no idea. Okay, I mean, decent attack value. Let's see, good crit damage. Des definitely a nice crit rating. Armor rating, oof. Okay, block proficiency, not bad, not bad. Armor rating plus the block proficiency, uh, not too bad. Now, I have not played around with him. I don't really know uh, his abilities. Let me just show you guys really quick. I'm not going to read him or anything like that. Um, but he looks pretty interesting. And I wanted him just because... He looked fun. So let's take him into Realm of Legends and see how he feels. Because I have not played with him outside of maybe the four star. All right. Let's uh, find you, Mr. Porker. There we go. Let me see. Any synergies that look interesting? Uh, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Um, I don't know. Throw that in there too. That one doesn't look interesting. Uh, this one eh, might be interesting. Let's throw that in there. Hmm. And we'll throw that in there. All right. So those are the synergies that we have active. And we're going to... See how this guy feels and plays and we're going to look at his specials this is my first impressions really uh, of this guy so let's see okay i know a little bit i know those uh porker poppers are like stings wow i walked into that one but didn't take that much damage okay yeah, let's do the special one first. All right. Okay, come on. Hmm. And we'll do a special two in a minute. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna see the uh, special three. Honestly, I don't know what the best rotation is for this guy. Spider sense is tingling, what? Okay. Special three. Wow, bait. This takes me back to when I was watching cartoons as a kid. It really does. Okay. I'm starting to see his damage is uh, ramping up a little bit. Yeah, them stings are doing a lot of damage. Yeah. 
All right, let's fire up another special two. Yeah, those are those are pretty nasty. And then I saw a taunt in there as well. I don't know what I did to get the taunt. But a taunt, especially with all of those poppers. And he's down. Wow. Once I get to where I learned him a little bit better, I think he's going to be pretty good. I think he is really, really nasty. But we'll have to see um, what's the best rotation. I don't know at this point whether he's all that suicide friendly, but it seems like he doesn't rely a lot on his specials, but those poppers to do a lot of damage. So I could see myself playing him, rotating the special three, and just keep taunting out specials and taking uh, my opponents out. Don't know if that's the best way to play him, but with suicides, that's probably the way that I would play him. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.